everyone, good morning. Hello, happy Saturday to you all. From the beautiful city of... I was gonna say Inverness, Stirling. Stirling. <laughs> We're in Stirling, the smallest city in Scotland. Mm -hmm. The gateway to the Highlands, apparently, Mazzy. Okay, I haven't heard that. Lots, okay. lots of history here. We're just gonna do a little walk around today. Yep. Mm -hmm. You've got the Stirling Castle, very, very famous behind us. Just over here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, cause I can't. In the distance is, uh, can you see it anywhere over there? I can't see what I'm looking at at the moment. A big towery thing. Wallace's Monument. Yeah. Will we go there one day or? Because it uh, looks far away, doesn't it? I don't think we will go there, Mazzy, because you can actually get up to the top, but it's about 270 steps or something. It's certainly not what you want to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, first impressions of this place. Beautiful. Very medieval -y, isn't yes. it? Just show you what we're seeing. Very nice. It is the first day of the year. Very quiet. All the shops are shut. All the museums, the castle, supermarkets, everything is closed. So we're just going to have a little wander around. Like, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, stably doors there graveyard over there I think that's the old Kirk graveyard there's a lot of stories to tell you from in there maybe one day Argyle's lodging what's this all yeah. about it's something you can visit I'm guessing because it says last century one hour before the castle closes okay well it's closed at the moment I wonder if this is included in your castle ticket. well if you read there it says admission included oh. in your price <laughs> of your ticket Mazzy so I'm guessing so but, yeah it looks like an interesting place <laughs> Right, let's go down this, I'm guessing this is like the main street. This is lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Bit windy, but lovely. So this is another gate to, towards it. It's looking stunning. Argyle's lodging. There's so much detail on it, isn't there? Look at that. It looks empty, doesn't it? It does look empty, yeah. yeah. That is beautiful. You can't really see what we're seeing, but the stonework on that is bang on. Yeah, it's actually currently closed. Never mind, I'm sure there's other things to see. Check that out for a building. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's very grand, isn't it? It's in ruin. I think it's called Mars Walk or Mars House or something. Today we are literally just winging it, going around, having a quick look around. Yeah, just get us out of the house. New yep. year, new start, you know. Yep. <laughs> but we are, you know, we will try and go into detail on some of these other things. You know, there is like a ghost walk we might do. Ooh, There's yeah. the actual castle we might do. Yeah. The graveyard's meant to be very interesting. And then you've got the shopping part as well, which is all closed today, so. Yeah, there's no point in us doing that today, so. Yeah. So just we'll take just a look around. Have a look around. Oh, look at this. How oh, cool is that? Cool. What is it? I don't know, it's just like a... Oh, it's someone's window though. Someone's yeah. house window. <laughs> Clock tower there. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it. It's strange that it's a city and there's nobody around apart from us. Missing dog, if anyone's seen it. Alfie. A beautiful black cocker spaniel. Aww. Been missing since the 7th of November. He is wearing a brown collar and he has a bent tail and he is microchipped so why they can't find him I don't know but uh, bless him if anyone knows where he is give them a ring. Just saw this right outside the toll booth. This is the toll booth I think they had uh, some cells in there. Is it a museum or something? I think it is. is it? It's not open at the moment no. but I think it is yeah. We found a plaque on the toll booth. In memory of John and Andrew, who were public, publicly hanged here on the 8th of September 1820. This is where they did all the hangings for Stirling, just here. It says for the cause of justice of truth, does that mean they lied or something? Do you think that's I have the cause no of idea, Mazzy. I just can't understand why they've got a plaque and no one else who got hung here has. Why them in particular? Interesting. So this is the toll booth. This is one of the cells. Three cells in here. You'd have like 30 people, adults, children as young as seven years old, they'd be in here. So there is a condemned cell. 
where you go just before you get hung. Can you see it right up at the top there? The middle one. The middle one. Um, if you were going to be hung, you'd be sent in there. Now, we're going back. The last person to be hung in there was a guy called Alan. Alan May. Uh, he was an 86-year-old farmer. And this was 1843. Apparently, this was voted like the worst jail in Scotland at the time. Right? So you can imagine the conditions for the prisoners and stuff. But yeah, this guy, I'll tell you the story about the last man who was ever hung here in Stirling. So Alan was actually really liked by everybody. What year did I say? 1843. Liked by everybody in this city. But what they didn't know what, is what was going on behind closed doors. He used to beat his wife up. He used to uh, lock her up when he went out. He'd go out, go boozing and lock her up, come back, beat her up. He was a really nasty man. And then one day he came back, got his walking stick and he just plunged plunged and plunged and plunged and he killed her. <laughs> Smashing her over head with stick, killed her, right? Um, got caught, obviously, and they put him in there, waiting for his trial. 18 months this went on for, and the, they eventually just says, you know what, this has gone on long enough, let's just get rid of this guy. So they said he obviously did it, he went to court, yeah. Loads of witnesses said, yeah, I heard that I beat her, but I didn't believe it because he seemed like a really nice guy to me. Um, but he went to the gallows. So they built some gallows around the corner here on Broad Street, just near the toll booth. They'd make them specifically, right? Now, it had been 10 years since anyone had been hung here. Went around there. Now, he'd been in there in such bad conditions for such a long time, he'd lost all his weight. He'd become really skinny and really light. Or frail, as you've just said. <laughs> it was very, very frail. So they got him to the noose, uh, opened the trap door, and he went down on the noose. But he didn't die, and there's a really angry mob around all wanting him dead. He didn't die straight away, he was still moving a little bit because he was so frail, his own body weight wasn't enough to snap his neck. So all the mob started going towards him as if they were going to rip him to bits. The hangman at the time, um, to try and save him from being ripped to bits by the angry mob, he jumped on his legs and grabbed him and pulled him down, snapping his neck and killing him. True story, that. So then what they did to him is they cut him into bits, put him into a little tea caddy box, and the church itself wouldn't let him be buried in the church because he was a bad boy. He had to be good to go into the church graveyard. As they were doing some work on the jailhouse door down there, there were some steps. Not there now. But they thought, you know what, let's bury him. It were a hole already down here. Let's just bury him under there. So they put him under there and a flagstone on top of him. Since that day, really weird things started happening in there. You know, like spooky stuff, ghosty stuff. Um, and it happened until the day they actually took the bones away, which was very recently they turned it into this ramp, took his bones and put him in an unmarked grave in a little spot in the old kirkyard. So that's stopped since then. There's no more ghostly goings on, but there was until they built that ramp. So the unicorn is known as Puggy, apparently. Don't know where that name came from. It's the Mercat Cross, but it's not actually a cross. Just a stone pillar. But this is where all the town things would kick off. All your public meetings and hangings and things. I even read there's been riots here and stuff. There has like been that. riots, yeah. Yeah. No, some in 1701. I'm not going to go into details, but hey. What else? We are. A sign here, that's why I wanted to come back. We are noticing there's a lot of signs, which is yeah, fantastic. Which is brilliant, yeah. This is Norrie's house. He was a lawyer and a town clerk. So Norrie was a lawyer, and that is supposed to be his head, his wigged head. I can't zoom in any more than that for you. You know, one of the upper class, darling. Yeah, but actually the house belonged to his wife's parents, so yeah, it wasn't yeah. even his He was probably house. a nobody. Yeah. Take that to court. So if we did want to come on the bikes, Mazzy. Yeah. I would say this is quite a safe city to... Oh, absolutely. ...to park up in. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're calling it a city, but this is actually... I think it's got 46,000 population, which nice. is smaller than my town of Keithley, where I come from. 
Keighley's huge compared to where I'm Yeah, but it's from. only a town. Oh. That's got like 66,000. This has got 46,000. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, it's, so it is quite small for a city. Hey, look, get your bagpipes. Look, bagpipe maker. Sterling bagpipe maker. Oh, it's Fantastic. actually like a workshop. You can see he's got oh, all yeah. his tools on the walls. You could actually... Oh yeah, you could watch him working, couldn't you? Yeah. A pair of big cannons there. Just reading the sign here, they're from Napoleonic War time, made in Falkirk, and the town was offered 12 cannons. Right? Apparently they were left over, the castle didn't need them, so this town got offered 12. Offered 12. Yeah. But then they found out... So they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll have 12. We'll have them, we'll have yeah. them. But then they found out they weren't actually offering them for nothing. They had to pay okay, for them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they only got four. <laughs> they decided to just have four of them. This was in 1904. <laughs> Uh, and two of them are here. So I'm guessing they're, well, they're original, real working cannons. Yeah, then, proper they? Napoleonic cannons. Well, it's very rare. You'll see a cannon in a town and it's real. It's my problem, isn't it? They're good, aren't they? They are good. I wonder how much they did pay for them in the end. They've obviously blocked them up. I reckon it costed um, a bomb. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, sorry, I'm a bit slow there. That was funny. That was funny. Well done. Ooh, sausage rolls. A, a, a roll of sausages, one pound, Mazzy. Bacon, one pound twenty. Actually, we just had lunch anyway. You had a ham sandwich and I had a salad sandwich. Yeah, but I'd much rather have had a sausage sandwich for one pound. Well, isn't one that cheap? One pound ain't bad, actually. Is really it? cheap. Yeah. It always needs me. It does need you. Aww. Have you heard her? She says, just you do it. You don't need me in it. Of course we need you I in said it. you don't always need me. I do always need you Aww. by my side. <laughs> um, Lord Darnley's house, apparently. He was married to uh, Queen of Scots. Okay. Is that someone important? Well, she what, Queen? Was she really, though? Or <laughs> she just, she, it might be just the name. Was she real? No, they just pretended. Mm. Of course she was. She what, Queen of the Scots? Listen, I have an old dear living in my town. They call her Queenie, all right? I'm just wondering. <laughs> it was Mary, Queen of Scots. She was a real person. OK. And she used to be at this castle all the time. Oh, did she? Yep. What I am liking is all the houses look different, different shapes, different shaped windows. It's, there's like a Tudor house there we'll get to. A nice little garden up here. But what I am feeling yeah. is this is a very, very small city. Yes, you've made it clear it is, but I don't know. I just don't know. I think the what, actual is it the smallest in Scotland, sorry? The smallest city in Scotland, yeah. Right, okay. Okay. I've just got the feeling it's all con all the historic stuff, all the things worth seeing, if you like, is all condensed into a very small area back up there where the castle is. But we'll keep going down here, just see yeah, what's what. There it is. They've got some lovely buildings here anyway. You've seen that big thing there, look. Everything here looks grand, doesn't it? Not this one. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, I don't know what that is. In fact, school. Might have been it could have been a school. An unusual building, this, with the timber top. It's the only one in Stirling which looks like this. Exactly what we were saying, though. I mean, although it don't feel in place, I feel like it's the, it is the only one we've seen looking like that, isn't it? Yeah. Very unusual. Very nice. Nicky Tam's Bar and Bothy. It does look cool as a bar. Yeah. But a boffy? Boffy, yeah. I mean, it can't be there, a boffy. Yeah? Like a B&B sort of thing, is it? Well, a boffy is well, normally not... in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's just somewhere to rest your head at night when you've been walking or travelling. Or well, drinking too much in this case. Nicky Tams. <laughs> Brea, Scottish restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's well Scottish, isn't it? Have you seen the menu? Well, it's all like haggis and stuff. Scottish there, Scottish that. Haggis, turkey balmoral, which yeah. has haggis in it, haggis in it, ribeye steak, seared hake, duck, trout, haddock, lamb. I think I'll just stick with the children's menu and get soup. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. <laughs> oh look, I'll be here, you got your cullen skink. Cullen skink? Very nice, it's a really nice menu actually. Quite expensive, yeah. but... 
you want a Is proper... It? Yeah. That's not expensive. Don't you think? Haggis, 18 quid. Oh yeah, 20. Duck, 23 quid. It's not that expensive. I think it's quite expensive, but if you come in here and you're wanting a proper yeah, yeah. Scottish meal. Probably get a nice one there. I reckon it'll be beautiful in there. Oh, a lovely church over there, look. We seem to be right in the centre to me now. Yeah. Of the shopping shoppy bits. We might be, we're not sure. We're not sure. <laughs> Did just have a guy come up to me. And he stood right next to me while I was filming. Oh. And I felt a real, I felt really weird. I just, and I just stopped. You know, he put me off my train of thought, didn't he? I just yeah. stopped. And then he got really a bit rude. He, he approached you rude, though, from the start. He was like, carry on, carry on. And you were like, no, I don't want to be literally filming. stood about four foot away from me. Yeah. Just watching me talking to my camera. Don't get me wrong. We've had people come up and stand and listen to what we're talking about. But he took this first approach was just He rude. was rude. And then he did, he was just weird in the end, yeah. wasn't he? Got really weird and he walked off, didn't he? Yeah. Well, hey, can't all be perfect, can we, like me and Mazzy? No. <laughs> Andy had a blanket on him. Oh, yeah. He didn't even have clothes, he, looked, he had a blanket on. He looked kind of poetry kind of a guy, mm, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, poetry, nut job. I don't know. <laughs> we just noticed a dude. Wallace? It says Wallace on the front, so I'm guessing it's William Wallace. Go check it out. There must be a plaque because Sterling is full of plaques. That just looks incredible. So that's the plaque on the side. So the building itself doesn't sound as exciting as uh, I first thought, but it is beautiful. If you look at him though, he actually looks like he's holding a real sword. It does actually, it does look real. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a nice uh, building as well, the Clydesdale Bank it says above there. Really nice architecture here. Another beautiful one, Cooperative Society, 1880. It is very nice, very nice place. So, can we afford to live here? That's the big question. £1,200 £1, per calendar month, two bedrooms. Oh, that's quite expensive for renting. It is not. Check this out for a pub. Can we call it a pub? Well. The Golden Lion. It's been here since 1786. And in 1787, someone really famous came here. Do you know who it is? Oh, has it got to be someone like Robert Burns? You know, someone that really gets around a lot. Well, it's funny you should say that. Yeah. It was Robert Burns. <laughs> it was Robert Burns. There's a little plaque about him here. I'm going to have to read this to you because it's quite cool. Um, he came here and he was so saddened by the state of the castle, he scratched a verse into the window pane in his bedroom on the second floor. Which will be one of these. And it said... Here Stuarts once in triumph reigned, and laws for Scotland's wealth ordained, but now unroofed their palace stands, their scepter falls to other hands. Hey. But he knew that would cause offence, so he came back the year after and he smashed the window. Oh, I was, I was just looking up, looking for Yeah. Here. You know, isn't it convenient that the window isn't there anymore and we can't prove that that story is true or not? Very convenient. But I bet a lot of people come to the Golden Lion because of that story. Mm -hmm. The lion is golden and gorgeous. It is beautiful, is the lion, yeah. And then next door you've got Sterling Coffee. I'm loving though the, the windows up the top. Oh, the little yeah. paint windows. Look at them, they're beautiful. Even the sign is cute, isn't it? How can you have coffee in Stirling? I don't get this. I've seen it in a few Scottish places now. What do you mean? Well, you can't make coffee, you can't grow coffee beans in Scotland, surely. They're not growing a... So, how, so it's not sterling coffee then, is it? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Oh, right, yeah. So we've been to a few places where they have different coffees around Scotland, but surely they're not getting the coffee in Scotland. Don't know. Just saying. Oh, by the way, we passed a Indian back there called Marijuana. 
<laughs> oh no, sorry. Maharuja. Same thing. <laughs>